When Santa Was a Baby by Linda Bailey and Janarina Godbot. When Santa Was a Baby. When Santa Was a Baby, he was soft and round and cuddly, and his parents thought he was wonderful. Look at those dimples, he said, not Mary. And his dear little nose said, Mammy, like a cherry kitschy kitschy goo. They said together and waited for Santa to make a baby sound. A sweet little girl, a gentle coo. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. Baby Santa in a voice had rattled the windows. Oh, my, said the parents, leaping back. What was that? Little Santa smiled his first smile. His parents were thrilled. He doesn't have the usual baby voice, said his dad. It's good, strong, isn't it? It's special. His mom, just like him. The years went by and Santa grew older. He began to learn his colors right from the start. He liked red best. What about these bandy blue jay jawlins from Aunt Mabel? Said mom. Santa looked shed. He went red. Of course you do, said his dad. Blur blue is nice too. Want red, little Santa? His parent blue pajamas in a drawer. Maybe he'll be a firefighter with his mom. On the next birthday, Santa got a wonderful red fire truck from his mom and dad. He got a rocking horse from his grandma, paws from Uncle Ned, and a pair from his yellow plumage from Aunt Mabel. What a lovely time Santa had opened his presents. He had even a lovelier time wrapping them up again. Put him back in a sack. What's he doing? Beats me. They watched in amazement as Santa rode down the street, giving away his presents to all his boys and girls. Did you ever see anything like it? Santa's mom. His dad shook his head. What a generous child. On the next birthday, Santa asked for a horse. Well, he wasn't exactly a horse. He said it was like a horse. Except that it had horns and could pull a flying sled. His parents didn't understand. So he asked him to draw it. Did you think it was a unicorn? Santa's dad scratched his head. A unicorn? Now that you're supposed to get one of those. They got him a hamster instead. It was a female hamster and soon it had eight babies. Then they grew bigger enough. Santa passed them all the ribbons over to a matchbox. He put tiny presents into his matchbox and trained a hamster to pull it around the house. Listen, said mom. He's calling them by name. Dasher, Dancer, and Comet. Vixen, no vixen. Extraordinary, said Santa's dad. He's so creative, said his mom. Santa was an unusual child in many ways. For one thing, he didn't like warm weather. When the other children were running around the hot summer run, little Santa stayed inside waiting for the fridge door to open. We can't keep it open at all this time, said Mama. Think of the electric bills. You're right, sighed Dana. Make him happy. Santa had an old interest in chimneys. What do you suppose he was looking at? His clothes are all covered in ash in her suit. We can wash them. Isn't it great to be so curious? Baby is scientist, says so that. Santa's best friend lived next door. His name was Eldred. Eldred was smaller than Santa, but in the other ways they were much like a like, they both enjoy making things, especially toys, and Eldred loved green, almost almost scented love red. What a jolly pair, said Anza's mom. So nice to have a friend, Santa's dad. As Santa got older, it being clearer, inherited the family looks good. Goodness, it just looks like Bella is your match, like two bowls full of jelly. Ha ha ha, T T T, Santa's mom, ho ho ho, boom, Santa. When Santa became a teenager, he continued to be unusual in his own mind. He didn't even fit with his crowd, but his fans thought he was, he was wonderful. For this is a story, well, you can probably guess, Santa frowned his childhood dreams. He moved to the North Pole, where he was cold. He built a toy-making toy shop by a crew of all to help. He got a big, beautiful sleigh. Train eight reindeer to pull it when once a year he travels around the world climbing down chimneys to leave gifts for boys and girls. His parents are so proud as they could burst. Every Christmas, I 
They listened for a sleigh bell. So they were way well kisses and Santa dips lower in their house. It was we always thought it would be, says Mom. He thought all the time. What do you think Santa should do with that? Ho, ho, ho. To Santa, love Mom and Dad.